Hey everyone, it's Robert over at Burton Racing. In this video, we're gonna be going over our latest product release, which is our external COP control kit. So as you know, we're really well known for our in-ECU coil-on plug controllers. Um, and we sell them as a kit with a wire harness, with mounting options, with coil options. And we've had a lot of requests over the years to offer a kit that doesn't require an in ECU installation or a reversion back to an OBD1 ECU. So we've worked and we have that kit here and we are ready to release it. Um, we are very proud of this kit. So this is our external box. So this is a coil ignition control module. Now this box is going to control the coil outputs and it's going to completely wire into the vehicle without any modification to the vehicle itself. It's 100% plug and play and it's not going to require an ECU swap and it doesn't defeat any emission devices. So your check engine light and everything is going to work perfectly and you're not gonna throw codes from this kit. So what we have here is the module and the harness. And once again, we offer all the accessories needed. So if you need a mounting options for your engine, you need coil options for D17 K20 coils, or you want a low profile distributor cap, this kit is going to allow you to run all those and then move forward um, with, with your build. So being OBD2 compatible, what this means is you can run your factory ECU, whether it's automatic or manual, from OBD1, OBD2A, and OBD2B vehicles. So the only thing that changes is the harness portion. The box stays the same. So that way, if you ever move on to a different build and you wanna take this kit with you, all you need is the harness itself. You don't need to repurchase everything. Um, and we are very proud of that, making it a plug and play solution. This kit does install in typically less than 10 minutes. So we have our module and this mounts onto the battery for most applications. We will show that in the install portion of this video that's going to come later. And then we have our harness here. Simple one piece connector here. Our wiring goes through. We have one ground wire. This will be grounded on your thermostat. We have two distributor plugs. One plugs into the engine harness side and one plugs into the distributor harness side. And then we have our four coil connections here. So our coil connections use the early model K series and D series D17 coil pack connectors. So this is gonna be like EP3, RSX, early K series cars. So they're gonna have the bigger connector on them. This is typically what you're gonna find if you're sourcing coils yourself. The 02 to 06 RSX coil pack is gonna be your go-to for B series and H series applications. For single cam applications, you are going to want to use the D17 coil pack. It's a little shorter and we do have a proprietary mounting plate for that option. So <clears throat> when you're selecting your kit, you're gonna have three options in the drop down menu. You're going to have an OBD1 version, an OBD2A and an OBD2B. Now I'm going to give you a roundabout estimation on what cars come with those style connections and what use those style ECU systems. But by all means, it's not a guarantee. You do and you should pop the hood and check your connections just to confirm before ordering, you can get your kit in a timely manner and it's gonna be right the first time. This specific harness is for an OBD2B vehicle it's specifically for a 2000 Honda Civic. So this comes with the small eight pin plug. Now I do have some plug samples here. So an OBD1 car, typically your 92 to 95 vehicles, they have a two plug setup. So you have a similar rectangular eight pin, and then you have this two pin connector, and that is your OBD1 92 to 95. Um, this style 
connection also comes on OBD2 Prelude. So once again, you do need to pop the hood. It's not a one size fit all. And a lot of cars are swapped these days. A lot of cars have conversion harnesses or engine swap harnesses. You should do your due diligence to confirm before ordering. Now, when we go to a 96 to 98 Civic or a 96 and up Integra, we go to this OBD2 A style connection here, which is a big square 10 pin plug. And now when we go to a 99 to 2000 Honda Civic, we're going to an OBD2 B style connection, which is the same eight pin rectangular plug, excluding the two pin. So just like we have here, our vehicle is gonna be OBD2 B. So it's gonna be a perfect plug and play. Now, all this harness does is intercept signals. It does not put anything back into the ECU. It's incapable of giving a check engine light. It's incapable of causing an issue that's not related to the coil system itself. All it's doing is reading the engine position sensors. You are still required to have the distributor on the vehicle because this is what's communicating with the ECU, the position of the engine. This is how it knows the RPM and how to fire. So it reads the timing signals and then it syncs the timing. So with this kit, you're going to notice a very minimal delay on the start, especially if you're used to other coil systems out on the market. Many of them require a three revolution turnover to sync. This will turn and sync almost instantly. It only requires one revolution to sync the crank and the cam position and start firing. So there's very minimal delay over distributor setup. It's negligible. It's unnoticeable for 99% of the applicants, unless you're very picky on it. But once again, it's not an issue. What this does, it's for reliability and safety. Anything that sinks faster without a full revolution of the motor, it's not an accurate sync and we want to ensure the reliability of your engine and the optimal performance of it because that's why you're purchasing this kit so this picks up the timing signals from the distributor and it picks up the ignition signal that is built by the ecu that also uses the distributor's timing signals so the three timing sensors inside the distributor the positioning is going to stay intact in the base housing of the distributor. Now, this kit will bypass the coil and the ICM igniter. So it's going to allow you to remove them. And then you can also remove the cap and the rotor. And then you can install the nice fancy billet low profile distributor caps. That's an issue, just like with our older kits that's 100% able to be done. Now, the other cool thing is the coil and the ICM are the typical issues with aftermarket distributors or old aging parts. So what happens is you have an OEM distributor and typically the sensors are fine unless you get a bunch of oil inside the distributor through a seal leak. We've never really seen the sensors go bad unless they have been contaminated with oil. But what happens is the coil will burn out or the ICM shorts out and then you have other issues going on. So this allows you to remove those components from the system, reuse your old OEM style distributor, or if you have a new build and you have to source an aftermarket unit, typically the culprits and the issue components are once again, the coil and the ICM. So this allows you to bypass the problems with the new out of the box aftermarket distributor. And now you can turn that into a good 100% functioning distributor. The timing marks line up when you set the ignition timing and it doesn't cut out in high RPM or you have a rough idle. Those are typically the symptoms of an aftermarket distributor that have faulty coils and ICMs. So now we're gonna move on to the on-car portion of the install. So come join us outside. So here we have Joe's 2000 Honda Civic sedan. It has a standard D16 single overhead cam engine in it. 
it's a bolt-ons car. There's nothing crazy done to this vehicle. It's still running a factory ECU. It simply has an intake and a header. It still has full exhaust. It still has all the emission systems. Um, so what we're going to do is start by removing the spark plug wires. We will install our mounting plate, our D17 coils, since this is a single overhead cam engine. And then we will install the wiring harness. We already pre-installed our ignition module onto our battery mount here and then we'll just tidy up the wiring and connect our ground wire at the thermostat so now we're going to start doing the install and then we'll show you the the running after the install was performed So now we have our coil mounting plate installed. We have our coils fastened down. We have our harness plugged in. We have our 
ground on the thermostat and we have our control module mounted on the battery here. Now, as you can see, there's enough slack here. You can run this wiring above the intake or you can run it below it if you want a, you know, a, a sleeker look. Um, you can hide this kit pretty well. As you can see at first glance, there's nothing going on here really. So we can pull this guy off and you can see everything's plug and play right here. So all you're doing is disconnecting the distributor from the engine harness here, plugging our harness into the engine harness and then plugging our harness into the distributor itself. And this is a very nice fit on this particular car because now it even goes onto the factory bracketry and then our harness fits in this nice little uh, retention loop right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and start the car. So as you can see, the vehicle started up beautifully. The check engine light primed as it would stock. It came on, you heard the fuel pump prime, and then the check engine light clicked off. The vehicle started, we revved it up, the check engine light stayed off, and it will stay off. There's no interference from this kit with the factory ECU. You could clearly see that the car idled very well. It idles smoothly. That's one of the great compliments we got with our original NECU kit. So the car typically idles better and it revs up faster and it revs up a lot easier and it sounds cleaner throughout the rev range. So on a naturally aspirated car like this, it's a single cam, there's not a lot of power to be gained. So where we do gain that horsepower is in the mid range. Now this is where you actually want to gain the horsepower because if you look at a dyno graph, you're impressed by the peak number at let's say 7500 rpm where you're spending that time though is more likely from 3500 to 6500 rpm and that's where this kit benefits because you're now running more accurate ignition signal so what you're doing is when the ecu commands a specific timing to the ignition system what happens is it's actually running that ignition timing now and there's no no delay or long dwell times or anything like that as that you would typically see especially with an aftermarket or a faulty distributor so now you're running accurate ignition signals and you have more spark energy due to running four individual coil packs one for each cylinder versus a single coil for all four cylinders with a typical distributor now where the power is to be had uh, with large gains is typically more on a forced induction side. So whether you're using a turbocharger or you have uh, nitrous on the engine. So now you're able to increase the, the ignition strength of the vehicle so you can open up your spark plug gap, which will effectively create a larger spark and then you will have a more complete burn. You're gonna create more power and the motor is going to run better um, theoretically. So we see a lot of horsepower gain when we do these types of kits for force induction and turbocharged application. Now those gains through the mid-range are on every single car, even the naturally aspirated cars. Um, like I said, the benefit of this kit, and we've sold thousands of quill on plug kits, all of our customers rave about the smooth idle and they rave about the mid-range performance. Now, once again, there are larger horsepower gains to be had. That's when you have larger amounts of horsepower. 
but for this car it's going to be running around the town and it's going to run just like stock except you're going to have the benefits we just discussed and you're not going to have a check engine light to worry about once again this car is running a completely stock obd2 ecu it has no modifications to the vehicle whatsoever other than the bolt-ons we showed you in the engine bay and you can check us out at www.burton-racing.com